We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Let us pray. Father, we appreciate your holy name. You remain God forever. If you, if you are in charge of our lives, indeed all things will be made possible. Even those things that seem to be too strong for us to handle. If you come into our situations, if we allow you, everything will become possible. So this morning we ask, O oh Lord, that you will teach us how to accept your holy will. Teach us your word. Take us to another level. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First of all, I want to appreciate our Father in the Lord, the Venerable Governor Whiskey, Venerable AOCS Bear, the Canon Residentiary, our doctor and the other cathedral priest. May God bless you all for this opportunity given to me in Jesus' name. The theme, according to the lectionary, all over the Church of Nigeria today is accepting God's holy way. Can we say it? Accepting God's holy way. Yes, the will of God is holy. And we have to accept it because it is a perfect way. We have our own way. But that of God, because it supersedes our own, we keep our own aside and take up the will of God upon ourselves and say, Lord, it is your way I will follow and not mine. Let's open our Bibles to Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, we will read 30 to 31, 34, and then 38. Luke chapter 1, 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? 38. And Mary said, Behold, the hand made of the Lord, be it unto me according to to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Praise the Lord. A will. What is will? Will is defined as, the, as a mental power or the ability to control your thoughts and emotions, even your actions, in order to achieve what you want to do. Will is that thing in us that enables us to choose, to make choices, to choose between good and evil. That is will. Mary already had her own will. And her will was that she was betrothed to a man called Joseph. But a day came, an angel of the Lord came to her, came to her and told her, Mary, there is a plan of God for your life. A scripture is about coming to fulfillment in you. And that word is that a savior is coming into this world. Forget about your will. Drop it for me. Take my yoke upon yourself and give birth to this savior. Mary was confused and she asked the angel, Gabriel, how is this going to be? All my life I've never heard this before. All I know is that for a child to be born into this world, there has to be a sexual relationship. Even in our culture and according to our religion, Judaism, a man has to be legally, mar legally married to a woman. And it is only this union that can produce a child into this world. And the angel said, you don't need to be worried. There is going to be a divine process. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God will overshadow you. Praise the Lord. Mary 
At last believed the angel of the Lord, accepted the will of God, and said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to that word. She submitted wholeheartedly. And even when Joseph noticed this thing, there was a reaction. You know, after expecting that the woman you are getting married to is a virgin, That's the, or just of a sudden you see the navel protruding, the stomach just growing. Now food you eat like this, so you say, well, now food, oh, you know now, nah, I'll be virgin, oh. From food, the clothes, couldn't size her again. Mary, what is happening? You are a suspect. Joseph wanted to withdraw, but the same angel met Joseph and told Joseph, Joseph, there is the hand of God in this thing you are seeing. I know there may be one or two men in this house who will say, please, there are other women in the world. Not this one, not this one. God, why me? Why my own? We may not understand the shame behind this a, a virgin getting pregnant. We may not understand the shame. In Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 13 to 22, we are made known of a law that if a virgin gets married and then after the husband spent the night with the first night with the virgin and discovered that the virgin was not a virgin then that girl if she is tried and found guilty will be killed so it was the matter of life and death in fact the culture was that even the morning of the wedding preceding the after the, the, the wedding, that money, the parents of the girl, we go there and collect the bed spread, the bed sheet. We collect it and keep it. And this is what the Bible refers to as the token, tokens of virginity. In case the man said, ah, uh, the woman you gave to me, the hour did not find her to be a maid. The parents will bring that Lord and said, Women, do you understand what I'm saying in those days, especially the elderly ones? This generation has messed up everything. This generation, they have messed up everything. It is now difficult for people to accept the will of God. I've asked a few youths, I said, you can hurriedly go to bed and test, but you cannot go and test in the hospital whether this man is medically fit for you. And because of test, 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 some people have test, 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 test. During operation, they forget scissors inside of their stomach. And today, they are in trouble. They have carried dangerous diseases. Some have become useless to themselves, useless to the society. They have become hazardous to the society because of test, 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 test. May God help us in Jesus' name. We can never be wiser than God. I had to go into a little study. The high man that is the physical presence of the evidence of virginity has no medical implication. It has no use as far as doctors are concerned. It was God who placed it there. He said this one is the seal of purity. But today, people just can just be walking along the road, say, My body is doing me summer, and just throw it along the road. Take it. Give it to one Igbo smoker. Mary was troubled. I've never heard this before. Angel, what are you telling me? I have never heard it. I've never heard this before. Are we submitting and accepting God's holy will today? I just want to give us two reasons why we must accept the holy will of God. Number one, because God is the designer of our destiny. God himself designed our destiny. In Psalm chapter 40 verse 6, it says, Sacrifice and offering, thou didst not desire, mine ears has thou opened, but offering and sin offering, has that not required? Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. 
It is written of me. I delight to do thy will. Oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. This is the psalmist. The a messianic psalm. The Messiah saying, Because my destiny is written in the volumes of, the, of your book. Now that I have come, I desire to do thy will and not my own. Secondly, it is the only way we can experience God's heavenly kingdom here on earth. Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. What we normally call the Lord's Prayer today. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in as it is in where? In heaven. Let it be done here. The will of God cannot be done on earth unless we permit the will of God in our individual lives. First, we have to permit God. We have to submit our will. The moment somebody says, Jesus, I want to follow you, you drop your own will. The Bible now instructs us that set your heart on things above. And what will you seek? The kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. And that is what we are asked to seek. The other things, they will be added unto us. Fortunately, many of us put the cart before the horse. Even Jesus himself chose the will of God. After all the miracles he performed, he came to a time he had to face humiliation. The highest one so far. He was flogged 39 strokes of the cane. And was crucified like a criminal. Even among criminals. Those that killed him were so wise. They had to place him in the midst of criminals. One on his left, one on his right. Jesus prayed one prayer. In the book of Luke. Luke chapter 22 verse 42. Luke 22, 42. Jesus said, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy be, but thy will be. This is a man who asked the storm to be silent and it became silent. This is the man that commanded the dead body of Lazarus on the fourth day, even after burial. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came forth. The same man who had the power to ask God for trillions of legions of angels, warring angels, to consume his enemies, still submitted his will before God in tears. Some of us are married today. The plan we had when we were still youths, single, is one we are carrying out in our marriages. So this is how I said I must live my life. Now the husband you marry, don't want to live like that. Not that it's against the will of God. He said, this is what I have planned right from childhood. Marriage is bringing your will, submitting your will. The husband submitting his own will. Imagine the two together to make one destiny. One common destiny. And this is one of the reasons marriages are crashing today. We must submit our will before the Lord. I said, God, I don't want to choose myself. Can you please just choose for me? There are cow owners today. There are spiritual cow owners today. Who we tell God to be the pilot of their vehicles, but we never allow God to sit on the steering. Say, God, go and sit at the back. I don't like this, the way these boys are driving. Anyhow, God, sit at the back. I know you are the driver. I said you should be the driver, but I ask you to be my driver. Please, the road is too dangerous. Just sit at the back. If I sit at the car, I'll not sit. Don't be worried. Let me take charge. A lot of destinies have crashed today 
because we fail to accept God's way. There is a law, a satanic law. It's called the law of Telemann. It says, it says that do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love on that way. And the man that proposed this law is Alessa Crowley. In the early 1900. And today, that is what many people do. Doing their own will. I saw a Christian one day putting on a shirt. And on the, there, there was an inscription on the shirt. It says, I do what I want. I said, Jesus, you do what you want, not what God wants. The Lord's prayer says, Thy will be done on earth as it is done where? The will of God be done even in my life, in your life, in the life of the church. The will of God should be done. It should be accepted totally. And that inscription is a quotation from the satanic Bible. Do as thou wilt. That do it the way you want, provided it's not affecting your neighbor. And today you see girls up and down who can dress anyhow. He said, it's my body. When you get to hell, you will know whether it is your body. May you not go there in Jesus' name. Today, the human rights we preach, the human rights we preach in this age is satanic. When the rights of human beings are being exalted above the laws of God, it is very, very satanic. It is the worship of individual will. When the laws of God are relegated to the dust and the rights of human beings are lifted up. Even in California, a man had to wed a priest, wedded a man and a dog. And the marriage was recognized by the state, by the government, that it is right. And the priest himself, Paul Honor, the Paul, Paul Honor is the man who married the, the dog. And the priest, Father McKay, said this is the definition of true love. A priest representing God. Which Bible is he preaching from? Is it this our Bible? This our Bible. When a popular preacher was asked, is Jesus the only way? Is Jesus, I don't want to call his name. Is Jesus the only way? Or there are other ways. What, what is the answer? What is the answer? Is Jesus the only way? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father I said by me. That's more scripture. Man of God begin the twist because he gets some people where they give him millions. Are we rejecting the will of God? In a world like this, the one you submit yourself to obey is your master. The one I submit myself to obey is my master. Even a church that will not consult God before policies are made can never fulfill the will of God in its totality. Today we are church of Nigeria and not the church of England. You know why? Because some people refuse to consult God and said a man can marry my woman can marry a woman. Families today, some of us worship our children. Anything our children tells us, our children tell us, Daddy, this is what I want. He said, Don't worry, provided you are happy, take. Even if the thing is against God, we give. Many politicians, we have started the election again. Everybody now is very good. Even without invitation, politicians can still come and donate. You don't even ask. Before they would donate and not even pay. Now, some are paying cash, cash. Just take cash. When we get there, who are we going to represent? I read over the vanguard. 
On Thursday 18th, this Thursday, with the headline, Mutni caught Masha sentences 54 soldiers to death on Vanguard. Soldiers who pledged their allegiance to serve this country. They had to sentence them to death. If you know what these soldiers are facing in the battlefield, some of them have been dead since the battle started. Many of them have been killed. Even their wives had to protest because to pay them their benefits, they cannot even pay them. When militants, we have better weapons than people who are protecting us. Now me, the ship, those guns, they come to this country. Now me, we no no book. Now me, they break them. I know border. I know Nigeria border. Now me, they break them. Now me, they empower militants. We have to hold up the will of God. Even in Nigeria, there are children in this house who will be politicians. When you get there, represent God. If you are a politician now, uplift the will of God. Even in your family, do the same. Praise the Lord. Let's be on our feet. A him. Three, five, six. They will just play the hymn. The first verse. Even as I come down. Thy way, not mine, O Lord. Thy way, not mine, O Lord. However dark it be. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com. Email us at hosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com. God bless you.